Part A, construct a scatter plot. So the first thing we'll do is we'll click this little box right here and we'll click open in StatCrunch. Then to construct the scatter plot, we'll go to stat, regression, simple linear. Left click, then just pick the X, pick the Y, click compute. And then there's a little arrow here on the bottom right, little little symbol, click that, and then there's your scatter plot. So now we have to look for the correct picture. Let me do that again in case you blink. So click this, open in StatCrunch, then it's stat, regression, simple linear. Just pick the first thing, pick the second thing, click compute. Then this little arrow here, just click that, and there's your scatter plot. So we want the one that looks like this. This is called an outlier, this number here that's far away from the other points. So let's see if we can find the one that has the outlier. Yep, it's C. So the answer is C. Part B, we want the linear correlation coefficient. So again, we just click on this little box, click open in StatCrunch. Then you go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear, same place. Just pick the first thing, pick the second thing, click Compute, and there's the correlation coefficient. So it wants three decimals, so it's going to be 0 0.817. 0 0.817, I'm going to type it in. 0.817. Good job. Use the linear correlation coefficient found in the previous step. To determine whether there is sufficient evidence to support the claim of a linear correlation between the two variables. Choose the correct answer below. Right. So we have to see if mathematically there is a straight line pattern. We do have a straight line pattern visually, except for the presence of that one outlier. But mathematically, we should check. So how do we check? Well, we compare R to what's called the critical value. If R is bigger than the critical value, it's yes. If it's not bigger, it's no. So to find the critical value, you need two things. You need alpha, which is right here, 0.05, and you need n, which is the number of pairs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So then you click this little box, and then you go down to 11, and the 0.05, it's where they meet. So 0.602, that's our critical value. Our r is bigger than that, so the answer is yes, there is sufficient evidence to support the claim of a linear correlation because r is 0.817, the critical value is 0.602, so r is bigger than the critical value. So it is there is sufficient evidence to support the claim of a linear correlation between the two variables. Boom. Identify the feature of the data that would be missed if part b was completed without constructing the scatter plot. Choose the correct answer below. Um, I would say it is this one. The scatter plot reveals a perfect straight line pattern, pretty much, except for the presence of one outlier. And that's it.